Hello everybody and welcome back to Pandora's Tower. Last time we cleared the Sheardrop Spire and got a little more backstory to what happened in the opening credits there. And today, I guess we're gonna head on to the, the third tower. So let's go ahead and uh, see if Mobda has anything for us first. Well, well, I'll buy that. She got some money for us. So it's time to open for business. And then what else she got? Here's what's in stock today. We don't have a ton of money. We should get the geranium. Wait, I think we can wait on that though. Was there something else you wanted? Can we choose upgrade our sword? A, a way to Not yet. Okay. Was there something else you want? Oh. Oh. Be sure to take this with you. You don't what you got for me, me Mabda? anything in return. Oh. Books. We help each other out, you see. Bounty on her head. The army seek one by the name of Elena, the singer at the Harvest Festival, along with her companion, a youth with golden hair. An unprecedented bounty has been placed on their heads. In Elena's village to the, to the north, the people say they have seen the golden-haired youth, and rumor has it that he was a soldier from the kingdom of Athos. The army thinks it likely that he is a spy sent from the army of Athos. Yet even after interrogation, her parents could not give any could could not give the army any clues as to where they might be. There are, th there are those who call for revenge to be exacted on Athos, and all watch for the army's next move with bated breath. Farewell for now. Uh oh. They are after us, in earnest. I think I think I mentioned that earlier, like we can't write we can't write Elena's parents a letter. Because the army is going to be after him. So that's kind of spooky. I'll go check out here for anything real quick. There's something here. Pick that up. Anything else mysteriously appear down here? Doesn't look like it. And there's nothing on the roof either, so that's all we got. Okay, I did a little housekeeping off-camera, but there's something I want to bring up real quick, uh, if I can remember the right button. There it is. <laughs> the uh, fire ore is equipable, and apparently it de prevents defanging, which I think is just an attack debuff. So they might come in handy at some point. Uh, so I don't, have, I don't have room to equip it right now, but as the equip zone gets bigger, it might be something to keep in mind. But for now, I'm going to ch chuck them in the trunk here. Boink. And if we can give the leather belt to Elena while she's out there singing, might be a good idea too. I will unequip this. Just so... Just for when we need it more importantly later. It could probably still break when we're not... It could probably still break when we don't have it equipped, but... I don't want to waste a revive if I don't need to. Cat just zipped in here and banged into the door. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, he's fine. Uh, Elena, are you okay? I don't remember much about the Harvest Festival. I just know I caused a lot of trouble. I wonder what happened to everybody who was there. Well, we know they're all okay. Let's give her the note. So, this is what you want. And we'll give her a gift. A gift that only helps me. Mm, sorry, Aaron. What? I don't think I can make your bag any bigger using that. But do you mind if I take it all the same? I'm sure there's something I can do with it. I've been gypped. Rude. Okay. Uh, do you have anything else to say, though? Nobody taught me to sing. I just started doing it because I loved it so much. I wonder how my mother's doing. I'm quite worried about her. Well, she's been interrogated by the army. But I think that's all she has to say. So I guess we just head on back to, uh... the towers. The Wellspring Steeple. They stopped being alliterative. Oh well.
Oh no, it's the water temple. And in true adventure game fashion, the water temple sucks. So I'll do my best to get through it though. Uh, two chains we have to look out for. Door leading that way. Is there anything around the other way here? I have no healing items. That's great. Well, I have their dawn chorus. Hopefully I find some in here. <laughs> Where are those dryad berries when I need them? Whoa, where'd he come from? He was not there earlier. I'm gonna take your sword if I can. Why well, couldn't I go, please? There we go. Take out this guy quick, hopefully. Alright, we can grab some flesh from him. Thank you. Okay, what are we working with here? There's another guy over there. I don't think I can reach him. Not quite. Nymph water. So I think we have to get this wheel turning. At some point. Can't go through there. I can jump across here though. I don't want to go too far. Land in the other side. Okay. I don't know if you can do that, but I don't want to. I don't want to find out. I'll do the same thing with this guy, or not. Well, he dropped a sword anyway. Ouch! Ow! There we go. Any other treasures in here? Let's try this door. It's a big box in here. I think I can... Yeah, I should be able to pull that. Make a handy little shortcut, maybe. Like how it just keeps going after I stop. There we go. What's that? Strange grains. Oh. Camera change got me there. Lots of money. That's good. Lots of money, wow. Alright, what's in here now? Some little guys. Get out of here. Whoa, whoa, hello. Yikes. Or I can go in there. That works too. I don't want to be in here right now though. Hey, we leveled up. Sweet. Ow! <laughs> Jeez. Get out of here. Oh, there's a whole lot of nothing in this room. Okay. I tried berry, yay. Oh, this is, um... I was hoping the camera would change there. Is this the room we just... Yeah, because there's the water wheel. What's the map button? Is it two? It is. Okay. So this is the room with the water wheel. Okay. The map might come in handy in this one.
What's going on in here? Oh, hello. Oh, they hurt me. Oh, jeez. Not the water, but him jumping out of the water. I didn't think he hit me, but he did. And grab him in the air. I probably can, I just didn't. Hopefully him going in the water doesn't heal him. That'd be bad. I was about to jump across, but then I saw the fence there. And I thought, maybe not. Okay, he's dead. Cool. Come on, box. There we go. Pull it. There we go. Okay, that one's down too. Awesome. Ooh. Wellspring. Watergate. Crowds of workers gathered to watch as the water wheel went into operation. To open the water gate constructed on the upper level, the water gate levers, levers are slowly pulled out. The site was a stirring one. The mechanized doors and weapon manufacturing facility are all designed to be powered by the wheel, making it central to the successful functioning of the 13 towers. The support ropes attached to, this, attached to the stakes on the sides slowly moved as the water thundered down and the wheel began to turn. The engineers cheered as they saw it, as they saw it had it had been a success. We will no doubt celebrate long into the night. What is it with this game and not letting me read, or not me not being able to read this in this game? Is that just like, is that on the game or is that on me? It's probably more on me, because I don't read before I start reading out loud. I don't read in my head before I read out loud. And like the line breaks and stuff throw me off. Oh, I think I can. I think you can jump up here. Yeah. But I don't want to. I want to go up the stairs. For absolutely nothing, because there's no treasure on the stairs. Okay. All right, moving on. That door is important, apparently. That door right there. How do we get over there? What's that? Nymph water. Oh, hey. We can climb up here. Sweet. That's a chain door, or a chain going through a door. What's here? <laughs> Heck yeah, we got a new weapon with the twin blades. Let's check those out. Strike twice. Apparently they were developed in 456. This weapon speed leaves the enemy reeling. Oh, and the sword is developed in 460. You invented a sword after you invented twin. Okay, that's fine. So the blades are weaker and have less defense, but they hit twice, so I guess you can like double the attack or something. Oh, we can try them out maybe. Uh, rotate. There we go. Just to screw around with them. Oh, that's pretty neat. Wow, okay. Whoa, I almost fell. Okay. I think we can pull on this if my pointer shows up. Yep, okay.
I have to get the other one. I can't just like shimmy across here, can I? No. Can't be that easy. I can't shimmy. Uh, oh. I said I can shimmy down this way. Thank you. Hey, medicine. I'll take it. Let's follow the, uh, let's follow the chain this way first. Hold B and press A when light center centers to fire up to, yeah, I've done that, thanks. Just like that. Up to five, though. It's good to know there's a limit. And we can try out the twin blades. Maybe. Ah! Or we're back down to one special attack. If I can get it to work, go off. I don't know if I can yet. Or if I did, rather. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Okay. Okay, ouch. Might uh, throw the sword back on for the extra defense real quick, actually. Maybe, maybe get that uh, sage stone on too. Here he comes, okay. Maybe we can, like, break him. By doing the thing it taught us about. Where's he going? And if I can get it to go off again, there we go. Nope, okay. Okay, maybe a stick is immune to the chain. Yikes. I'm scared of this guy. Oh, something happened to him. Die, please. Thank you. Yikes. Oh, shoot. I meant to... I wanted to rip his flesh out. Oh, well. Anything in here? Nope, sometimes there is. So I always keep an eye out. Alright, just one chain to go. Maybe this temple isn't as bad as I remember. Or tower, it's not a temple. I pray Elena is safe and well. So this is... Hmm... Ah, oh, that's it! Yes! Nice job, Elena. Oh, jeez, he's back. Why is he back? Oh, no. I'm just going to run from these guys this time. I don't need to be here. What's the Dawn Chorus do? I'm going to try that out. Okay. I see. I wonder how long that lasts. 
I don't think I've ever used one of those before. <laughs> Wellspring, the wheel. A vast volume of water flows constantly here at the Wellspring steeple. The army planned to harness the power of this water by constructing an enormous water wheel. According to the data they made available some days ago, the water wheel will be constructed in sections and brought here by a team from the engineers of Helicon. At the same time, waterways will be built between the towers and power will be transferred from the Wellspring Steeple. This project will require a huge labor force. This has been planned for many years, but now, now it will become a reality. I have never worked on a project of this scale. I pray that we can create something we can truly be proud of. Cool. That's a... not a staircase. There is non-operational. Oh, can we get to the... that from here? We can't. Was that a mistake? Can I get back up? I kinda doubt it. Whoops. Uh, can I get the other ledge, though? Yes, okay. Oh, there's another one. Good. We can explore it down there later. There we go. Okay. What else we got here? Another hook? I don't know what to call those. An empty uh, healing spring. That's ominous. There's lots of these things. Let's check out the door first. Hey, we're on the other, we're on the other side of the water wheel. Good. Hey, we got that door opening. What level was that on? Where was that door? I have no idea. Well, let's um see if we can hitch a ride back when the next one comes around. It's nighttime now too. Let's kind of slowly make our way down. Aaron's like, oh, geez. Uh, this will drop me off on the, on the, yeah, nope, okay. I don't know what happens if you fall in the water, I kind of don't want to find out. Got him. Ow. Said I don't want to find out, thanks. Can I get back across it? Yes, I can. Okay. Wasn't sure if the waterfall was, like, blocking it. Gonna run past that guy. I think I'm gonna head back. Oh, there's something shiny in the water. I'm gonna grab that first. If I can. Without falling. Or dying in any other way. Give me the shiny, please. Yeah, that's probably nothing. Let's just go. Head back to the tower, feed Elena. We got to a nice uh, checkpoint with starting that water wheel, so... Should be all set. Let's come on back and finish it off.
Seems like she's back inside. Well, we saw her back inside, but she stayed there. Thank Ios. I was worried. There she is. On Beast Flesh. The power of the flesh to hold the curse at bay does not vary according to the Mount Eaton. If I consume one piece, I return to my human form. The closer it is to living flesh, the more powerful it is. That way, I will stay in my human form longer. Away from the towers, flesh will dry out, so it cannot be stored in the trunk. Avdo will buy any meat that's left over. Just don't ask me what she uses it for. And the cellar. There are lots of books and other documents. Some of them are very old. There's bound to be some worth holding on to. It's well worth having a search for these texts. Was there a note about how cool the basement is in the basement? Or did she write that on her own? Is everything all I finished translating that text you gave me, Aaron. Whoa, we got lots of things to read. But I like that song. I always loved singing, ever since I was a child. You just need to enjoy making people happy with your voice. After that, it's all about practice. What was that dream I had? I just can't help thinking there was something odd about it. If we're going to be living here for a while, I suppose we should make it a bit more homely. I know. A few ornaments is what we need. Do you think you could find anything like that? I'll decipher these for you. Don't worry. It's great to feel like I'm doing something useful. Is everything all right? Thank you, Aaron. Please, take these. I hope you like them. Homemade cakes from Elena. What do those do? Energy booster. Steadily restores health. Alright, so like the Dawn Chorus. Ah, oh, we have things to read. Thought there were three. Yeah, it was Eternal Blessings, wasn't it? Well, we haven't read that yet, so probably is. Uh, let's start with Vessel Testament 2, I guess, since it's first. I volunteered to become a vessel to atone for my sins. As a medic at the front, I tended to, the wo I tended to my wounded comrades as the carnage continued and the casualties mounted. But as the war spread, it became more difficult to get hold of the medicine and equipment I needed. The cries of the wounded haunt me still, as they pleaded with me to put them out of their misery. And I did it. I ended their lives, sending them onto the afterlife to meet the gods of Ios. But I did not do it for them. I did it in order to escape those cries. Now all I can do by way of atonement is to try and bring about peace for the children of those victims. Ooh. And eternal blessings. Far beyond the dawn, light glimmers, illuminating our blessed, bountiful Earth, the great mother of us all. I pray to her, as dancing light plays over her verdant forests and lus lush meadows. That sweet melody, as clear as the summer sky, is like a beacon that guides us as we open the door to each new day. We, off we offer up our joy and gratitude. Let our memories and dreams live on through endless time, endless horizons. I pray to the ocean, father of us all. Let its sweet song, as, as radiant as the stars, shine a light to guide us as we open the door to tomorrow. Let that maiden smile fill the, fill the meadows with light. Let her, let her sing eternally, bringing us joy without cease. I vow, to give you, I vow to give you eternal love. Let us be bound together in joy as the sky is bound to the earth as we pass through endless time. Alright, and alchemy teachings won. My teacher firmly believes that when it comes to fusing items together, you should experiment with every combination you can. I took a leaf out of his book and discovered that those strange grains from the Great Temple could be made to, could be used to make potent healing items. Even if you have a rare and unusual item, my teacher always believed that you should try combining it with other items. The alchemist skilled may not agree, but if you don't experiment a little, how are you ever going to make any new discoveries? The al an alchemist who doesn't mix... what? An alchemist who doesn't mix all he can mix is as worthless as mercury. Alright, little hints there. 
Let's see if we can afford some ornaments for Elena like she wanted. I hear the army are frantically searching for you. There is talk of a reward. Don't look at me like that. I won't hand you over. After all, those things you're bringing back from the towers are worth more than a reward. <laughs> You've got some flesh going spare? No. Well, well, I'll buy them for this kind of That's a lot. time to open for business. Thanks for not selling us out, Mavda. Here's what that's that's real well of you. Um, who's the jeans picking? I was thinking to wait on that for a little bit. Well, these drapes are back. I guess I never left. Now let's get the geranium and the seeds. Maybe I should actually buy some medicine too. That will cost you. Couple of them. Oh, they only had one. Okay, that's great. Was there something else you wanted? What I don't think I had anything to sell. No. Was there something else you wanted? Choose a weapon to choose a way to forge. Can't upgrade the twin blades yet, but I probably actually won't use them very often. I like the sword better. Was there something else you wanted? Uh, let's talk about the towers. As its name suggests, water gushes without cease in Wellspring's steeple. I've been in lands where there was barely a drop of water. To see a waterlogged tower in parched terrain like this is a curious thing indeed. Was there something else you take a heavy hit and the items in your bag might get broken? So, in the heat of battle, spare a thought for your items. But if they do get broken, it means more money for us to repair them. <laughs> Was there something? Thanks, Mavd. <laughs> uh, let's go back. Give Elena some stuff and feed her. Call it a day here. went to so much trouble to help us. Close your eyes, it's a surprise. Oh, how adorable! I love plants like this, Aaron. <laughs> Why did it zoom in like that? Has it done that before? Thank you, Aaron. I'll sow these and try my best to grow some more flowers. Why did it zoom in for the geranium, though? That was kind of weird. Alright, let's give her this. That's not much. Hmm. I've... I've got to... eat it. Haven't I? Alright. Well, we got a little time back anyway. So yeah, I think we'll call it there for now. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time for more of the Wellspring Steeple.